Oh no, my alarm's going off. That's not good. What time is it? Oh no, it's 7.45. I gotta be working 15 minutes. It's a five minute drive. So I have 10 minutes to get ready to shower, to shave, to get something to eat. Hey, there we go. Oh, I didn't get all the soap out of my hair. Dang it. All right, all the soap's out. Let's brush my teeth real quick. All right, come on, come on, come on. Put my shoes on. There we go. Okay, I'm thinking cereal, cup of coffee, maybe warm up a uh, bagel or something. Oh, yes, I forgot. I got some croissants on the table. Okay, perfect. That'll do. Let's get going. Come on, come on. All right, shut the door, lock it. I got to get used to everything because I've only lived here for like one or two nights. What? In tarnation? Oh, no. Back up, back up. I'm still wearing red. Oh, no. The cow. What is he doing? All right, buddy. Nice and easy. Milky, no, don't don't run for me. No, no, no. Oh, no. This isn't a good start to my day. I'm late to work and I got a bull chasing me. All right, he's off. That's so weird. And how did he get into my garage? What in tarnation? That isn't a holy biscuits moment. I don't know what is, but let's get out of here. I don't have a garage opener yet, so I got to get out, shut it. All right, let's go. Let's go. Merge with traffic. Take the old commuter to work here. I get about 50 miles of the gallon on this hog, so it's it's pretty cheap getting to work. All right, check the time. It's 7.55, so I got five minutes to get to work. It's about two-minute drive left from here. Let's see what we made at the gas station yesterday. Jeremiah, what's going on, man? Open up the register. Let's see what we got. Holy biscuits, another new record, 1,400 bucks. Good job, Jeremiah. Thanks for being such good customer service. Everybody's leaving good reviews online. All right, man, I'll talk to you later. Have a good day. Dang, Jeremiah's killing it at the pump. Heck yeah, and he makes really good like breakfast sandwiches. So a lot of people come in, get their gas, they get a cup of coffee, they get a breakfast sandwich from Jeremiah. So I mean, they're dropping like $10 on breakfast and then the gas off, so we make money off that too. It's 7.59, we got one minute. Oh no, we got somebody passing us here. Let's get in the other lane here. One minute to get to work and boss man's not gonna be happy. Oh, the clock just hit eight, it's 8 a.m. All right, boss man, boss man, what's going on? Just in time. A few seconds late, but I'll count it. You're within the minute. I had a cow in my garage. I couldn't do anything about it. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Did you say you had a cow in your garage? Yeah, Milky. He was in my garage. That cow is still getting up all in your business. I think he's attracting me or something, but hey, what did we make at the, uh, at the parking garage? All right, all right. You don't need some money. Okay. Well, you got $1,400. Score one for the boys back home. Another good day. Well, boss man, I'm sure you aren't selling any cars today. Can I use your... I, I really could use your help, actually. Okay. And why you got to diss my business? Like, this is a great business. We've made lots of money. Like, we haven't gone bankrupt. So that says something. Okay. Well, the cars move out here slower than molasses. But anyway, I need your help building a garage because I have too many cars, not enough garage space. And I want a spot where I can put all my yard tools and stuff like that. Like, you want a garage or you want like a shed? I can't build another garage, but yeah, like a small out shed. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Keep I, my I can mower, do that. my tools, my tractor. Oh, yeah, that would be awesome. Actually, your rental property that you have going, they mentioned that there's a mower there and they sent something about it. So, yeah, probably want to get that away from there. Oh, yeah, I left my get. John Deere 110 in the mo. Oh, okay, yeah, we'll check that out. Thanks for reminding me. No worries. But, yeah, okay, so what? You want to go to the supply store and pick up some wood? Yeah, we got to get some wood. I'm going to rent some equipment to drill the holes for the post. And then bring all your tools, like the nail gun, all that stuff, roofing tools. And then, yeah, we should be able to knock it out in one day because it's it's just a little out, Chad. All right. Uh, that works for me. Let's get to it then. Uh, what are we driving? Uh, just my jumping, truck? No, jumping me. Uh, I'm taking my truck, but I need you to drive my mower to back. So just drive to my rental house now. Oh, oh, okay. All right, guys, I got the trailer hooked up on the back of the little monster truck, and it seems like it's pulling it pretty good. No issues there. I thought with the lift, it would, you know, kind of pull the trailer a little weird, but I'd say that looks pretty good to me. All right, man, let's get that loaded up. But I got somebody to book it, and the payment just came in this morning, but I had it listed for 400 a night, and they booked it for five nights, so two grand. I thought that was pretty good. Yeah, man, that's really good. Congrats on that one. Okay, so you're gonna help me lift this thing up into here? Yep, ready? Come on, I'm lifting, I'm doing all the work. It's leaning towards your side. Man, I'm trying, this thing's heavy. Oh, okay. That'll be good. What are, what are we doing about this little dangly bit? Just fold your tailgate up. Okay. Is my trailer riding good? I thought maybe my uh, it, my lift Man, was a little too tall. That thing is swinging around like a swing at a playground. It should be good. Is it sparking a little bit when it rubs on the pavement? Oh man, it's sparking a lot. I'm worried yeah. about these train tracks here. There we go. There now, go. Oh, it did get caught a little bit, but it should be good. I'm going to go pick up the wood in the equipment here. 
And it was 600 bucks for everything. Wood has gone up a bunch. Like two years ago, three years ago, this wouldn't have been that expensive. But obviously the equipment is expensive to rent too. All right, let's get the skid loader loaded up. Heck, look at that. When you fold down the ramps, it just lifts the whole trailer up. That's pretty slick. We strapped down the skid loader and then also the wood. We should be good to go. Heck, that's a lot of weight back there. Those skid loaders are not light. They make them heavy duty nowadays. Dang, we're popping wheelies. I think it's just, I might have lifted the truck a little too tall and now it's not too much of a work truck. There we go. Okay, the skid loader's drifting a little bit back there. We should be good. Uh oh, boss man, do not move. And the cow is back. Don't worry, I'll, 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 come on, Milky. Come on, Milky. Calm down, just get up and out of here. Dude, he's like attracted to me or, whoa, there's some reindeer. They're flying. This is too, getting too crazy. We need animals out of this city. Yeah, we Cats have a cow in the only. middle of my driveway and we have reindeers. What? They must be practicing for Christmas, don't you think? The cows for Christmas? No, uh, the, the reindeer the are flying. They're practicing. Wait, does this cow give Santa the milk? <sighs> I, you know what? We can't jump down any clue. Okay, Milky, he seems pretty calm right now. What are the cows like? They, here's some grass. Here, pull some grass. All right, boss man ran to the neighbor's yard. Come on, Milky, eat the grass. It's good. All right. Now we're going to give him a big old slap on the cheeks. Come on, get, come on. Hit. There he goes. He's off. Don't, don't hit the reindeer. Man, that was scary. Yeah, well, Milky hasn't hurt me yet, so there's no reason to think he's a bad guy. He attacked the dealership. Like, what do you mean he's not a bad guy? And didn't he charge after you the other day? Yeah, I think he was just playing tag or something. I don't like him. Not one bit. He was in my garage all night, I guess. He didn't hurt anything. I guess that's true, but I still don't like him. I had old Tomater in there. He didn't bruise her up. So where are we uh, building this thing? Thinking over here? Yeah, I'm thinking right on the corner. Just set it back a bit. Might take this bush out. I'm going to leave the tree. I like the tree here. It offers nice shade and stuff and the squirrels play. So anyway, yeah, right here. And then I got the side garage door. So it should be perfect. All right, let's start building this thing. I'm going to take the topsoil off with the skid loader. That way we can just have it nice and level ground. It's back graded a bit. I'm going to probably pull that bush out here. Come on. There we go. I think a chain hooked up to the base of the bush. It should work pretty good. There we go. Come on, big skip. This is a really big bucket for this skid loader. I think they put the wrong bucket on for me today. Now I'm going to knock out this bush. Just come in, dig underneath. There we go. Perfect. All right, boss man, I got the wood. Get to work. Put on your working gloves. I don't want to get sweaty. You're going to get sweaty. Let's go. Get to work. Ah, fine. All right, guys, here's the shed. And we got the paint color to match the house. So I think it looks good. Looks like it was here all along. Yes, sir. Let's check this thing out. That looks pretty cool. Is there a light switch? You just pull the string? I don't know. It, it might be one of those automatic sensors. There we go. Nice. All right. So oh. I'm thinking if I can fit my mower in here, I'd love to, but we'll see. I love playing with the string, man. All right. You're like a cat. Quit playing with the string, man. But it's fun. It makes the light turn on and off. Do I need to get a laser pointer out no. and then you chase it up the wall? No. If you do that, I'm going to call the cow over. How do you call right. the cow over? Just curious. Uh, Just, you know, uh, milk 101. Trust me. I can call it. Okay. I think I can get the mower in here. Well, it does articulate, so you should be able to squeeze it in. Make sure to turn off the light in there. Uh, yep. Perfect. All right. Get her closed. That's the mower shed right there. Then I can put all my rakes, all my shovels, you know, on the side. Get all that all organized extension cords, stuff like that. I thought it was a garage, man. Called it a shed. I need to know. Is this a shed or a garage? You tell me. Like, we have a vehicle It's a in shed. There. It's a shed. It's a shed. Okay. Yeah. What are we doing with this extra lumber? Are we just going to store it in your garage or where do you want it? Yeah, we can keep it here. Okay. Yeah, I think about more than I thought I would need. Yeah, definitely not need this much, but hey, it's pretty expensive. So it's good to have extra around in case it goes up even more in price. Go get that back right away because you charge by the hour, right? Yeah, they charge by four hours. So we used it for about three. We can use it for another hour for free, but I don't have any work for it. Yeah, just get it back there. Better to have it. They're on time in case there's a long line or you know how it goes. What's really now, nice is I don't even trailer. need ramps, man. I was going to say, like, this trailer, you have zero tires on the ground. Yeah, I hated the ramps on this thing, so this is super nice now. It just, you know, the angle is perfect. Got the Kubota dropped off, all the paperwork's done, and I'm going to head back. I think that shed's going to come super in handy, and Boss Man gave me a nice hand today. It would have taken me you know, three times as long if he didn't help me out. So that was nice. And thank you guys for all the comments down below, especially the one that told me that I forgot the hook on the lady's UTV on her Kubota. That came in handy, but I think my house looks the best. It looks very modern compared to everybody else. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Boss man, thanks for the help. I'll see you tomorrow.
Yeah, for sure. On time, right? On time, just like today. Yeah. Okay. See if you can come maybe like a minute or two earlier. How about that? That works. All right, boss man. I'll see you tomorrow. Well, thank you guys for watching. Heck, I'm going to watch some TV. I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs>